Sure. So here at ID Week, um, we presented a final two-year analysis for an open-label trial of RBX 2660. Uh, RBX 2660 is a liquid suspension of uh, microbiota. It's an investigational, what we call an investigational microbiota restoration therapy. Um, we've completed two, sorry, we've completed three phase two clinical trials. Um, one of those is the one we're presenting here at ID Week. It's an open label trial in which we evaluated two doses of RBX 2660 um, in comparison, in an open label fashion, in comparison to an antibiotic only treated historical chart review control. So in that case, the control would have been patients who would have met the entry criteria for our actively treated patients, but they were retrospective review of charts, would have only been treated with the standard of care antibiotics. The goal was to see what their um, response rates or recurrence free rates would have been. So for our active treatment arm, we provided two administrations of RBX 2660, seven days apart, with a clinical outcome of recurrence free at eight weeks. Um, failure would have been um, determined based on a confirmed recurrent episode of CDI within eight weeks, including a laboratory diagnosis of C. difficile. What we saw in the trial was that we had a 79% recurrence free rate at eight weeks after treatment. This is very consistent with our prior trials of RBX 2660, and it was also significantly better than the 31% recurrence free rate in the control arm that I just described. Um, so we're very excited about this trial. We also measured beyond that eight week end point, we looked at adverse events, um, and we looked at microbiome changes, and we looked at recurrence free rates beyond the primary endpoint of eight weeks out to six months to 12 months and to 24 months, out to entirety of two years. And what we found was at six months, 97% of the primary treatment responders remained recurrence free. At 12 months, 95% of those also remained recurrence free. At 24 months, so two years after treatment with RBX 2660, 91% of the valuable primary responders still remained recurrence free. So this is a very exciting result for us and I think for the field to really look at extending the time in which patients become recurrence free after C. diff and really breaking that, that cycle of recurrence. Um, we also looked, of course, at safety. We saw a very similar adverse event profile for RBX 2660 treatment compared to the historical control arm. As well, we looked at microbiome changes from before treatment to after treatment. And what we found, which is consistent with our prior trials of RBX 2660, is that when patients came into our trial, they would have been just treated with an antibiotic. Prior to, to treatment with RBX 2660, they had a disrupted microbiome, um, really characterized by a decrease in Bacteroidea and Clostridia, which are generally considered healthy microbes, and an increase or overgrowth of gamma proteobacteria and bacilli, which generally you don't want to see in a healthy microbiome. That's what patients looked like before treatment, Within seven days after treatment, those trends had reversed. You were starting to see restoration um, of bacteroidea and clostridia, as well as a decrease in gamma proteobacteria and bacilli. That continued to the point where gamma proteobacteria and bacilli were at very low abundance, and bacteroidea and clostridia were at more normal levels of abundance. And more importantly, that continued with durability of those microbiome changes out to six months, to 12 months, and to 24 months. So what we saw overall in this trial was a durable clinical recurrence free rate as well as a durable shift in the microbiome from before to after treatment. So we're super excited about these results. So next step, we also have an open phase three trial of RBX 2660. This is a double-blinded, um, placebo-controlled trial of RBX 2660 compared to placebo. Um, it's a large trial that we expect to fuel a uh, discussion with the FDA towards an approval. Um, still undergoing, uh, st still, uh, um, we're still recruiting for that trial at this point, um, but we're excited to see that trial uh, reaching the end stages and hopefully have data. Yeah, so we also, in addition to RBX 2660, we're developing an oral capsule form. This is unique in the industry in that it's te uh, room temperature stable capsule form um, of MRT. Uh, also very excited about this. We've completed an early trial that was an investigator sponsored trial through Mayo Clinic in which we saw 27 of 30 patients uh, meet the recurrence free at eight week endpoint. So very exciting result there. We're gearing up for a large trial of that oral capsule form as well. That would be sort of the next stage in our evolution.